The Huawei P10 is a great smartphone that I enjoyed using for quite some time and the P10 Plus is a bigger and badder brother of it. It has killer specs, slightly different camera lens and some other cool features. My name is Linus, stay tuned for the Techline HD review. Just before we start, make sure to check out my review of the Huawei P10, all the links will be down below in the video description. The Huawei P10 Plus ships in quite a premium box, inside of it you can find some paperwork, a hard plastic case, a pair of earphones, USB-C cable and last but not least a fast charger. The P10 Plus is larger than the P10 mainly due to its 5.5 inches IPS LCD display that now has 2K resolution and is just gorgeous to look at. It has nice and saturated colors, great brightness output, Gorilla Glass 5 for scratch resistance and finally a pretty good sunlight legibility. I love how nicely the phone sits in the hand due to rounded edges on the back and all aluminum housing that is smooth to the touch and it does not attract fingerprints or smudges like some glass made phones. However, the fingerprints are more visible on the black model than on the silver one. The brand new home button has a built in fingerprint sensor that is very fast, accurate and it can unlock the phone straight from the standby mode. The home key has a lot other features but more on that later on. When it comes to the camera, the Huawei upgraded its Leica branded dual camera setup by using the latest 20 megapixels monochrome sensor which is mainly used to capture sharper detail. Also, there is another 12 megapixel shooter which is essentially used to capture colors. The camera system has optical image stabilization, dual tone dual LED flash and finally, the cameras use bright f1.8 aperture Leica lens. This is a slight upgrade over the regular P10 which has f2.2 lens. As far as the selfie camera, Huawei also cooperated with Leica and as a result, we have an improved 8 megapixel selfie shooter with a bright f1.9 aperture lens. We also have a notification LED light on the top. It's great that we have some extra features like the IR blaster that allows you to control devices like TVs. The sound quality via the headset jack is great, no distortions, rich and balanced sound and great volume output. Also I love the sound quality of the loudspeaker. The sound is balanced, rich and the volume output is very good. Finally, the phone uses an earpiece as a secondary loudspeaker for stereo sound effect. As far as the specs go, the Huawei P10 Plus comes with a home-brewed high silicon Kirin 960 chipset. Also, my top tier model has 128GB of expandable storage and 6GB of RAM. We can also opt in for a cheaper variant that has 4GB of RAM and 64GB of storage, just like the regular P10. The gaming performance is just great and the phone also supports the new Vulkan API which renders games faster and with more details. In other words, games run fine and you can play titles like World of Tanks, Asphalt 8, Nova 3 and others on the highest graphic settings without any issues like skipped frames or lag. Finally, the phone does not have any overheating issues even after 30 minutes of gaming. As most of the phones right now, the P10 Plus runs on the Android 7 out of the box but it has the Emotion UI 5.1 skin on top of it, which looks a lot different than stock Android user interface. At the first glance, the UI may look a little bit cartoonish but I got used to using it. As it has become usual, there are a lot of features, customization options and settings to make the phone look your own. Just to name a few, there are quite a few gesture and motion controls. For example, you can use your knuckle to take a screenshot or start a split screen view. Also, I like that the one hand operation mode can be triggered very quickly. 
The P10 Plus also comes with a new approach to navigating through the user interface. Obviously, you can use the on-screen navigation keys, but the home button on the front is not only a fingerprint scanner, it can be also used as a multi-navigation button. It allows you to access your multitasking menu if you swipe it to the right, go back with one tap, and go home by tapping and holding it. Huawei also included quick integration. This GoPro-owned app allows you to pick photos and videos and the app automatically edits them into a video. It's a pretty cool feature and it works straight out of the gallery and it helps you to make a social media ready video from the latest events or parties. Overall, I'm really happy with how the Piton Plus performs in real life. The user interface is really fast and fluid no matter what you do with the phone, even after installing quite a lot of apps. The camera app has been improved and it comes with a lot of great features. As on previous Huawei phones, we have a monochrome mode which takes pretty decent looking 20 megapixels black and white pictures. There is also an HDR mode, light painting, time lapse mode, slow motion up to 120 frames per second in 720p, and there are some other modes for you to download. When it comes to the daylight image quality, the Leica branded dual cameras can take some nice looking photos with a good amount of detail, great dynamic range adjustment and very accurate color reproduction. In fact, some of the pictures I took are one of the best you can get on any phone. The low light camera performance is pretty good too. There is a little bit less noise in the pictures in comparison to the regular P10 thanks to the brighter lens. The level of detail could be higher in some of the shots but in general, these are one of the best results from a flagship device. Currently I'm recording a video with a Huawei P10 Plus. The 4K video looks pretty good, the footage looks pretty sharp but there could be more detail if we compare the quality of video to some of the top tier flagship devices. Also, the video stabilization could be slightly better. For some users, the biggest concern may be that the phone uses H.265 video format, which is not supported by YouTube, so you would need to convert the video first. However, it is really easy to do that using some free apps like Handbrake. I will leave all the links down below in the video description. Right now, I'm recording a video with the Huawei P10 Plus. I switched the resolution to 1080p at 30 frames per second. The 1080p video looks pretty good too. Obviously, there is less detail than in 4K footage, but the optical image stabilization does a pretty good job reducing the shakiness. The selfies look great. There is lots of detail, the colors look nice, and the pictures will definitely do the trick for social media needs. One of my favorite features is the portrait mode that takes some awesome looking selfies with bokeh effect. So currently I'm testing the front firing camera of the Huawei P10 Plus. The selfie video looks pretty sharp and detailed too, definitely more than enough for video chats and other stuff. Finally, the sound recording quality is really good. As far as connectivity, I didn't have any issues at all. The signal reception and the call quality have been excellent, the Wi-Fi speed and range are great, and finally, the GPS is accurate whether you need to use it for driving or for walking down the street. The Huawei P10 Plus has a 3750mAh battery that can be fully charged in about 1 hour and 10 minutes with a supplied fast charger. I use the phone mostly for taking a lot of pictures, checking social media, web browsing, and I was able to get about 5 hours of screen on time using 50% brightness setting, which is a pretty good result. After using the Huawei P10 Plus for quite some time, I have to tell you that I love it for a lot of reasons. First of all, I love the design and build quality of the phone, even though some may say that the looks were inspired by some other phones. Even though the phone is quite huge due to its 5.5 inches display, it is pretty easy to manage it with one hand thanks to the one button navigation key. Other things that I really love include a dual camera setup that can take some one of the best in class daylight images. Also I enjoy 128GB of fast internal storage, excellent gaming and user interface performance and finally the battery life is pretty good. 
since I always prefer stock Android, I'm not a huge fan of the cartoonish look of the Emotion UI, but I appreciate all the features, especially the fingerprint reader gestures. Another shortcoming is that the phone uses H.265 video format, which is not supported by YouTube, so you would need to convert the video first before you want to upload to YouTube. All in all, the Huawei P10 Plus is a very solid phone and it can be called a legit flagship despite a few shortcomings, but given the starting price of 699 euros, this phone is really worth your attention and it is definitely one of the best for the price. It was Linus, thanks for watching and as always guys, if you have any questions about this device, please drop me a comment down below. Also, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're new to the channel and if you like the video. And follow TechLineHD on social media, like on Facebook, Twitter or Instagram. See you soon.